Now, the first family of drums that we're going to talk about are those that I refer to as the finger drums. Now, the finger drums are any drum that you play with the fingertips as opposed to the entirety of the hand. Now, that can be the frame drums, the doom backs, any number of drums can be played in this manner. There are a variety of sounds that we are going to review, and the first sound is a sound called doom. Now, doom is the lowest, most resonant sound that the drum can produce, and it's made in the following way. I will rotate my thumb into the drum, striking the head about here, and then allowing the thumb to come quickly off the head to allow the head to vibrate. As I am rotating my wrist, I'm also gently throwing my thumb as well as forearm to create as graceful a movement as possible. I should also let you know that doom can be made with these fingertips striking once again in the doom position. That's a stroke that is used more in doom back play. Now, the next stroke, the high sound, is referred to as the tock sound. And to make this sound, I will rotate my wrist in the opposite way from the doom, striking the drum at the very edge with my fourth finger, kind of like a rim shot. So notice, I am rotating my wrist and then throwing my finger. Now, the left hand talk stroke is made keeping the fourth finger somewhat parallel to the rim of the drum. sounds are new to you, I recommend that you repeat each sound many times until you develop a lot of consistency with that sound. And then when you change sounds, keep going back and forth to develop a great deal of clarity between the two sounds. Now, the next sound that we're going to talk about is a slap stroke that is referred to as pa. And to make pa, I will strike the drum dead center with my hand just barely cupped. interesting variation on pa, and one that is borrowed from South Indian Kanjara playing, as well as North Indian tabla playing, is this stroke. Now to make this stroke, I divide my hand in the following way, like this, and then I keep the heel of my hand on the head of the drum to create a dead sound. And then as I am rotating my wrist, I am also throwing the groups of fingers. I call this side the two side, the side the three side. Two, three, two, three. I'm throwing those groups of fingers into the drum head. The goal is to achieve a sound kind of like this, but with one hand. Now I've developed an exercise to work on that sound, and it goes like this. And it's, an, it's a, an example of taking a rhythm and running it through various speeds, something that we will explore later on in the video. Now, there are some other strokes that are used that I use as filler strokes sometimes. And these are the various scratch sounds. And they are made in a couple of different ways. One is with the fingertips rubbing across the drum like this. And the other is with the fingernails. So you can create some very interesting textural changes by simply switching back and forth between the finger pads and the fingernails. Now there's another stroke that I use that is borrowed from flamenco guitar play, and it works like this. I'm going to let these fingers repel off of this part of my hand here, one right after another. So two, three, four, five, and then I'm going to finish it with this stroke. 
It's a nice uh, stroke to use for a flourish. Now you noticed that I was finishing that stroke with a snap. And that leads us into our next series of strokes that we're going to explore.